Hello, welcome everyone. So today I want to show you an updated version of my uh, Graveyard Keeper early game uh, build. So there's an updated version of it where um, I will be opening the church on the first day before the bishop leave and we'll get on from it and due to the opening church uh, much earlier we'll be able to achieve a little bit more. Now, one very important point is what I will be doing uh, in that update version does require the game of Crown DLC. If you don't have it, it won't be possible to do uh, what I'm doing. So keep that in mind. I will also use uh, the Better Safe Soul um, DLC to do some part of it. But this part is not necessary. If you don't have it, uh, it would be possible without. You just have to find another source of money instead of uh, the money that Better Safe Soul DLC gave us. Now here, until we speak to the bishop in the tutorial part, time is not passing. So I use the time before I go and uh, dig up Gary uh, to just check on uh, the garden blueprint that it's done for later. And we we'll need the garden very quickly. So not have to do one more uh, trip to do that. Uh, we'll save it sometime later. Now the timing on opening the church is quite tight. You don't have um, a lot of seconds to spare, but that doesn't um, start until you speak to the bishop. So we, we do everything we can before that we spend as little time to do everything we need once uh, the clock starts ticking to make sure that we get on the timing. It also generally takes me a few tries um, to achieve it, so don't worry if uh, when you try it you don't achieve it the first time, just start again until you get it right. That's one random part. At some point we'll mine a stone because we need a little bit of stone because we don't have enough money to buy uh, everything we need and we'll only have time to mine one block of stone, but we need two stone. And so this block of stone can either give you one, two or three. So we have about a 33% chance that we need to restart. Yeah, before we bury our first body, already uh, take the tool and the repair kit that are in the chest. Yeah, so don't speak to the bishop right now. We first need to make a little trip in town, uh, in the village, to uh, buy and sell a few things. Uh, I've already set up um, the repair kit, so what is important is that you use the, wood re uh, the stone repair kit um, on the grave on the left. And we'll also buy a few more because we won't have enough otherwise. We'll also build some flower beds, that's why we need some stone. We'll also need to, har to harvest some red flower and we'll buy some peat uh, to build those flower beds. Now here my goal is to buy uh, the teleport stone. And to do that, of course, I will sell the burial certificates that I got. And I will also sell my axe because the burial certificate is not um, has not enough value to buy uh, the teleport stone. So first I come here and I talk to Ulrich because I need to sell my axe and I want to have the letter to give to Ulrich, so that's already done for later. And when I'm talking to him, of course I talk to him about the garden, so that is done. And when I ask to trade, he will give me the letter for the blacksmith. Okay, you need to unequip the axe so that you can sell it. So I give him the letter. I will ask to uh, about uh, iron so that I can get the technology. Uh, 
and set the X. And when I'm here, I'm already putting the sword. Here, uh, you can't actually do anything until you uh, took the bishop. So then it's possible to start to repair the sword or kill the slime right now. Uh, but we prepare as much as we can. And no put that's in your quick bar, you will need it later, and we can use teleport stone to get back home. And get to our friend the bishop. Once he will have tell us everything he wanted to tell us, it will be time to start running. Because, like I said, we don't have that much uh, free time. So, check the box, that's required. You can't speak to him until you have checked the box. So, we need to do that before we speak to him again. So, while I'm here, I'm do that. And I also clear the bush on the top side because I'm nearby. And now it's time to get back in the village. I want to mine that block of stone. And I need to get at least two stone from it. And I got two, that's perfect. Three would have been better, but two is enough. If I had one, you needed to uh, restart at that point. Now I want to repair the sword, key the two slime with it as quick and as energy efficiently as possible. And set it. Now that we sell our sword, we finally have some money. So we'll go up because we need to buy some uh, wood repair kit. We we'll need to buy some peat and some stone. And on the way, we'll pick up some red flower because we need those as well. That's why it's this one. Then you speak to Tress, you buy free wood repair kit. And that red flower here. And from him, want to buy 16 peat. Keep in mind that while you are inside a trade menu, time is still passing, so try to do it as quickly as possible. And we need eight stones that we have ten. Then one red flower here. And here, of course, we only want the red flower. We don't care about the other uh, flower. This one. And this last one. Make sure to pick it up. And check that you have ten before you teleport all. You can see it's already dusk, but you won't leave until a little bit further, so we still have a, a sometimes drink one of the energy potion because otherwise we won't have enough energy to repair everything we need to. Well, and here's the extra wood repair key that I just uh, bought from Tress, and one here. And you will see that it will be at minus five, and once I build the five flower bed, I will be at exactly five. And. Speak to the bishop, and now you can breathe, uh, it's done. Uh, like I said, if you don't get it on the first try, just try again, as timing isn't that uh, tight, I would have a few more seconds here. 
uh, left you know we do the small tutorial about the church and sermon and you always get free face now we don't have an axe and we don't have any way to get some science points we can actually use those face points for now so I'll put them in the chest here when I'm here I'll so down the potions that make a little bit of room and I go back home and yeah I want to sleep and I want to wake up almost immediately and now we have a small tutorial about uh, from Yurik about uh, digging of course where he give us uh, an exhumation uh, certificate and I want to sleep again And when I wake up, no, because I have Game of Crown installed uh, and activated the Game of Crown uh, questline start and come and speak to me about the refugee camp and we'll go there. So that's why the Game of Crown DLC is required because normally to go um, up north into the forest and to the quarry, you need to remove the blockage, which cost uh, some simple iron part some planks and some uh, uh, wood part but because of Game of Thrones as soon as you have opened the church and you sleep uh, the Game of Thrones start and it automatically removes the blockage that was that is necessary because we need to have access to that part of the world without paying uh, any material to destroy the blockage one part that is strange is because we have actually spent so much time in cutscene, the game seems to have two, basically two clock, and during cutscene, one of the clock is still running, but the other one is not. And if you have played that game uh, for a very long session, uh, where you play for a few hours, you may start to see something that are strange, like NPCs that don't come um, at the correct time, like they are a little bit late or earlier than what they are supposed to be or don't come at all and what it seems to be happening is that the two clock desynchronize every time you have a cutscene and when the desynchronization is too much uh, things don't go as they should be now this is actually going to happen so what we need to do is once we have we are out of that cutscene you need to leave the game get back to the menu and start it again and here we'll sleep and wake up and we'll witness the game of front cutscene again if you don't do that what will happen is that because we have witnessed so many cutscenes because we did like every cutscene that you're supposed to do like in the first two hours of gameplay in just 15 minutes is that two clock are so desynchronized that nothing is going to happen as it should be uh, and specifically we want to uh, have Mrs. Charm in the tavern because we need to go and speak to her uh, to get the journalist perk and I've seen that if you get through the cutscene really fast it can still work but in most cases once you have done this and you go back to uh, you don't uh, quit the menu and reload what will happen is when you go into the tavern Mrs. Charm will not be here the donkey will also never come just because there is too much desynchronization uh, between the two clock and seems to have some conflict so look a little bit uh, silly to have to uh, see the exact same cuts in twice in a row but certainly what we have to do and you know everything should be all right uh, i can go on and uh, keep doing what I want. Now what I want here is I want to have some coal because I need to start uh, cooking soon, I need to start uh, smelting and I don't have an axe, meaning I cannot um, make any firewood so far. Because without an axe you can't make any firewood and without any uh, firewood you could use some uh, sticks to power your furnace to build uh, a new axe for example, but it would take too much. And to get coal, the technology costs 10 red and 10 green and if you have done exactly what I did you will have 
10 and 9 so we, you will be lacking once that's why I'm going and uh, digging that tree trunk now we actually need 50 coal and this can give you between 20 and 30 so on average you should have uh, 50 probably a little bit more once I have money twice I can go back home and now what I want to do is start to uh, cook some bread so when I'm here I also quickly unlock the garden Oops. this one is misplaced I don't have anything to plant yet but I will very soon before you can go into your cellar to get the floor, you need to have the cutscene with Gary, which also unlocks the ability to uh, harvest from a berry bush. And when I'm here, I harvest those two berry bush, I harvest a stone. Oh, and I forget to collect some water. I will have to go back outside, but it won't be that big of a loss of time. And here I also need to destroy the trunk. It's a little bit sad that we have to destroy it, but we have to get one more simple iron pot from somewhere. And we don't have an axe to uh, destroy the bricks that are in the cellar, so that's the only option we have left. Here I was to a uh, bucket of water, and what I always like to do is to put the bucket of water in my uh, quick access uh, bar so that I can quickly use them whenever I need. And as you can also see, I've also eaten all of my uh, berry that I've collected just before. I use 10 coal and I put all of my bread to be cooked. And I can use that to make a little bit of room in my inventory. Yeah, what I want to do is I want to go to the dead horse and normally it should be a little bit um, just after dawn so Mrs. Charm should be here like I said if she's not here it's probably because you did not reload after the Game of Thrones cutscene that's because we haven't saved before so you can just leave to the menu and uh, come back and none of everything I've done in the last few minutes will have been saved so you can do it again it's quite important that we get the journalist spark uh, now, so that's why I'm doing that. And while I'm here, I'm also asking about ink of paper, and you need to also click the dialogue about the old last forager because we need to buy a few things from him, and that the dialogue is not available. It's not possible to buy until you spoke to him about that. And here, uh, you can see there's a dialogue. There is one big downside of that updated uh, um, early game is that normally there is two dialogues that uh, Orodic is supposed to give you. There is one that he tell you about uh, how much of a good job you have done to uh, deliver the letter and he gives you a free beer for it. And after you open the church he also talks to you about the fact that he is quite happy that you have opened the church and uh, he finally has a little more customer. And that dialogue about the customers that are back and the fact that you have opened the church will never happen. And it does one downside that that dialogue is not just a dialogue about the fact that he's happy to have some, uh, that you have opened the church, it also makes him rich. Basically, it adds one gold to Orodric's inventory. So it will be a lot poorer than uh, what it would have been otherwise. Now, here you need to sell. Uh, 10 coal. If you have more than, if you collected more than 50, which is quite probable, you can also sell it more. Only important part is you need to keep 30. 
So here I'm selling until I have 30, but just keep in mind that you may have a little bit less money if you didn't get exactly uh, more than 60, uh, more than 50, sorry. I said that I also, sorry, I completely forgot to uh, talk about it, but there is two uh, cabbage um, a plot here that you can harvest. I harvested them and I will actually use them to sell uh, to the farmer. Now, one part that is random and that's why I bought so much uh, peat from uh, Shepard is that you are not guaranteed, like here I received eight um, um, waste that you use to make um, peat, but it's not guaranteed that you will have eight. So here what I'm doing is I'm selling all of my cabbage and I want to buy 16 carrot seed and Ideally 10 carrots, if you have less money then just buy 8. And of course you need to ask him about farming so that he gives you the receipt for uh, cooking the carrots. I'm going back home, I finally have some bread that I've uh, that's already cooked. And uh, where is the bread? Here. Great. Now the next step is we want to build a furnace. And to build a furnace, we, of course, we need 14 stone and we need some flitches. And of course, we need to have something to put into the furnace. But remember, our pickaxe uh, is not going to last for very long, so we don't want to uh, waste too much. And we'll have to build two furnaces. Exactly how many stone you get is a little bit random, so that's why at first only mine one um, iron uh, ore, just one, and mine enough stone so that you get 14. I just need three more. And so dig up the tree like I did here because you will need the log. And we don't have an axe, so we need to uh, find some logs and exactly three. That's perfect. And here we also need some flitches, which I don't have now, so what I'm doing is I'm destroying that. To get the flitches I need. And now I can place the furnace. And you can put 20 coal, and we want to put 5. Uh, iron ore to smelt. It's possible that you didn't get five from one uh, iron ore. You can only get between four and six. So if you have only four, just put four for now and we put one later. Now here's part, like I said, it's a little bit random exactly how much stone you get. What we want to build is another furnace, which um, will take 14 stone. And we also want to put our vegetable to uh, grow. So exactly how many stone you will need to uh, harvest, I cannot exactly tell you because it's a small random part. But you always have have always have enough uh, pickaxe durability to uh, mine enough stone, and also to mine some uh, iron to go with it. And I'm planting the carrot right away. Yeah, I'm at eight. I need six more. Here, because it's the early part of the night, uh, the bats are here, so it's not really a good time to go and harvest the ore we need. And 15, that's everything I need. And we need to build the source because we need to make some wood billet and some more flitch. And I will run out of energy before I finish all of that. 
almost. And we unlock, unlock primitive forging, and we have exactly two iron port left. I can start to put all of that uh, in here as well, and I will put them inside and get some. more bread. So here we need that to be uh, that iron to finish cooking. The bats are here but just run past all of them. And what I normally do is I go up to the top. No, my pickaxe is almost broken right now. But what I want to do is harvest everything from the top and I go down. Just because I will have to come back but if I don't have to come back to the top, that's better for me. Exactly how much sometimes, depending on how lucky you are with the other stone, uh, sometimes I just stop here because my pickaxe broke, and sometimes you can come and harvest more of them. Okay, it seems to me that I was lucky with the rock, so I can probably mine this one and this one as well. Oh, even more lucky than that. And here is broken. And I want to get the log with me. I'm going south. So I craft the simple iron port that I need to build the second furnace. And I build the furnace here. I need a little bit more bread so that I can actually build it. And I want to add let me just check my note exactly how much. I want to add six in this one. And here the next steps I will want to craft a real pickaxe. Because like I said, the one I have is broken. Uh, and it needs something at least useful. No, air in my case, because I've gotten uh, eight crop waste, I will start to process them. It's not urgent because we won't actually need them until uh, false is harvest, but like I said, my uh, build is calculated with the fact that I'm not going to get them, but if I do get them, I'll start to process them. Uh, it will save you not even some time, but something you will need at some point anyway. And I want to be able to make a two. Now of course I can't make a pickaxe right now because I need one more uh, ingot. Now I'm just waiting for the next ingot, uh, in the meantime we'll just harvest some stick. And I don't want to fully break my uh, shovel, because we'll probably need to dig a grave at some point, and I may not have a shovel in between. So let's prepare a grave. 
I should check that. What I'm here. Yeah, probably like almost one minute left until uh, the iron ore is ready. I don't have anything more to do. No, here, let me just explain my plan while... Uh, oh, and this one was ready before. So the plan is we need a lot of iron and we don't really have space to build more uh, furnace. So what we want to do is to upgrade those furnace, but to do that we need a lot of point. So here, teleport, before you teleport here, make sure you, that you have at least um, seven bread or six bread and a little bit of energy. Repair that here, we'll need the one uh, blue point a little bit later. And now I'm going to basically fully use the pickaxe here. And the reason is to first. First one is I need a little bit of coal, not as much as I will have us right now, but a little bit of coal. And more importantly, I want a lot of red point. Because the next technology I need is uh, I don't remember the exact name, but basically iron processing two, the ones that let you make steel. And it costs 50. And to build a furnace two, you need um, two pig skin, which you can make from human skin. But the technology costs another 10 red. And you also need complex iron port, which costs 40 red. So basically right now I need almost 100 uh, red point. And I want them as soon as possible. And mining coal is a very time efficient and energy efficient way of getting red point. And like I said, I also want some coal, not uh, as much as I what I will uh, get right now, but I need a lot. And we also could use the donkey that is uh, coming back. No, because we opened the church um, already, the donkey will immediately immediately start his strike. Uh, quest line where uh, right now when I will talk to him he will uh, tell me that uh, I'm a landowner and doesn't like me anymore and he will give me a little bit of surprise um, on his way and when he come back uh, he will start to ask for some carrots and for some oil uh, for his uh, wagon yeah so my pickaxe is fully broken, I've gotten a lot of cold and a lot of uh, red point and I directly want to uh, unlock that. And now I can go back home. The bread should also be done so you can start to cook the carrot. And we can put all of that in here. I will repair my pickaxe. I want to actually go. Uh, it's quite lucky that uh, the donkey came so uh, early. So we'll go and talk to him right now. And here for that first body, what we'll do to him is not going to be a very good uh, graveyard keeper, but that's what we'll have to do. So here you can see that body is already quite, uh, there's a lot more range skills that you would have um, that early, that's because we have opened the church, we are already at the next tier of body. And we're extremely lucky, so what you want to do is remove blood and fat. Uh, we specifically want uh, the fat more than the blood, and you want to remove its skin. It's going to uh, decrease the quality of the body and yeah I was quite lucky to get it at uh, minus two uh, it's generally more than at around minus three or minus four but we don't have any other way we still need to bury it 
and I really absolutely need a skin so it's not like I have a, uh, any other choice uh, I want to add a carrot in my quick bar now the next step is I want to craft another shovel and craft another pickaxe so for that I need one set of uh, simple um, iron part and two more ingots to craft each of the tools and now I'm finally back with all three tools And like for the next few minutes, what I will only be doing is basically sort of waiting for more iron to be uh, ready because I need to upgrade uh, my anvil to uh, iron anvil, which costs four, and then I need to start to build some complex iron part to build this church workbench. But in the meantime, we already start to gather the log. Uh, we won't need the tree as early as we did in the previous um, version because you don't get the woodcutter perk as early as I did last time but we need a lot of logs and so those one are close by and like I said I need them and I will also need uh, the tree to be grow grown back uh, for later And yes, this one is done. I had put six on it, so I need to add uh, three more. And you can see that they are in also synchronized. And I will plant the carrot right now. Uh, it's quite random whether or not the donkey will have uh, come already. And you don't really need the donkey. Um, that early, but what you will notice is that because we do a lot of cutscene in a short amount of time, and because the donkey has also a lot of uh, different cutscene, because now the next time he comes back, he has his strike, and the next time he will also come back for the Game of Crone uh, Revolution quest line from the donkey. So it's happened quite a lot that in the next like two weeks, donkey only delivered uh, free corpse to me that because he came twice just to tell me about uh, uh, the revolution and other time was just because uh, I didn't save and leave the game enough that uh, it just was too desynchronized to come when I wait for the iron what I'm collecting here is I need a little bit of stone I need 12 to be precise and I need to collect the logs the logs are quite time consuming because I need uh, so the two that are in here and below and so this one take quite a lot of time to uh, get back to your home but now I don't have anything else to do I'm basically just waiting for uh, the furnace to do the work and in the meantime let's just get some wood that's my idea one quite important part is don't sleep or if you sleep don't leave your own because the Game of Crown quest line as the first step which we already did where you meet as uh, the refugee camp with Theodoro and Alaric and the next part is once a night has passed and you wake up uh, you go to sleep once you get out of your home you have the village that is assembled because of the vampire problem and we don't want to go to the village right now want to go to the village at some point but not exactly now but in case you need to uh, leave just know that you can save and leave the game and it will uh, cancel the cutscene that is going to happen outside you will still be able to leave it later but just uh, move it to a later point Here now I have enough uh, iron ingot to build the anvil. First I need to remove the wood one.
And no, I cannot see this one. Here, so we need to build uh, the church workbench. We need four complex uh, 10 nails and nine flitches. So we need to make more flitches. And for the nail, if possible, we want to try to avoid spending one full iron ingot to do them. So here we need three. What we still have in reserve is everything that is inside the cellar. It's not guaranteed that you will get free, uh, but generally I didn't have to uh, make more. You will also the number of like simple iron bars that you will get, the number of flitch uh, is like nails. Some source rack can either give you nothing, and basically for each of the components that it can give you flitch, nail, and simple iron part, they roll separately. So one could give you all three, and one can give you nothing. Here we get enough anyway, so good quite lucky in terms of a simple iron part that will save us one ingot uh, later. So I want to have 10, uh, we'll see nine flitches and I will also take them in. That is something I will need. And I need four complex, but for that I need to wait for them to uh, be ready. Uh, let's take a few of that with me. You can also plant those cabbage seed. I don't do it right now because I uh, don't want to actually eat any cabbage. Not really that worth it to cultivate them, but you will need them for the merchant quest line. But it's probably a few hours from now until you actually need them. But that's why I keep them around so I don't have to pay for them again. And I got them for free, which is quite nice. As you can see, it's quite well calculated that this one will be the last iron. I've uh, made a math so that everything gets synchronized in terms of what do I get, because building the, upgrading the furnace from one to two takes two uh, complex iron parts, which uh, you will get from the last uh, iron ingot. So basically from now we have a two minute 30 uh, timer to uh, get uh, the big skin, which is the last component that we need. So here, drop a save. Like I said, you don't want to actually leave your own. Just drop a save, leave, and reload. So that when you come out, you don't get interrupted by another cutscene. And why do I want to drop a save? So right now I want to study uh, I need some blue points. Uh, if I uh, wait. so, yeah, if I open this here, I want to unlock paper crafting. But to unlock this, I need ten blue. And to get those ten blue, uh, I need to study some item. And to study some item, what we have already some face. We have some item to study, but we don't have any science point. And so, two bookshelf uh, rack can give you a note, like this one. It's not guaranteed, so you could get zero from the two, and you could also get one or two, and here I got two, that's quite lucky. And you can also get complex iron pot, but complex iron pot, I don't count on them to uh, what I'm doing. And those notes are I use to get some science points so that I can study. I will use my three points, one on the meat so that I don't have to uh, study it later, one on the skin because I'm going to consume that uh, skin, and one on the fat because fat is only... Uh, it doesn't really matter which one you choose, but just so that I can keep everything in order at some place and I have to come back to study a meat that I have stored in my kitchen. Then you build the church workbench and you transform four pig skin, uh, one skin, a uh, human skin into four pig skin. And that I can leave here, that as well. Um, 
I need exactly one point because we will get it once we uh, transform uh, the iron ingot into a uh, complex iron part. No, upgrading the furnace kit takes a lot of energy, but it's very worth it because if you look, in the same amount of time, the furnace to smelt um, two iron ingots instead of one. So basically, we once both of them will have been upgraded, I'm producing twice as much iron ingot as what I was before. Which, in my previous build, I was doing that uh, by expanding the yard and building two more furnaces, but upgrading two furnaces, so building the church worker bench and upgrading two furnaces is cheaper in terms of iron ingot than uh, expanding the yard and building two more. Uh, so here, because it's uh, rest day, we have the small cutscene where Gary asks us to go and uh, talk to the Inquisitor. And opposite or uh, your carrot should also be ready so we want to go and talk to the inquisitor but it's more important to harvest our carrot and to make them cool because as you can see I'm almost out of things to eat and because we only use peat it's you will lose seed so like here I'm missing I cannot replant everything that I had planted oh and Take some coal. Like I said, we have mine more than enough, and that number is generally enough to uh, get me to the end of the game. And I cook every carrot I just uh, harvested. You might have a little bit more, a little bit less. Doesn't matter. It's not one. Uh, like I'm not 60 energy uh, close. It's very important that you meet the Inquisitor because we'll need um, the graveyard authorization, which he can only give you the week after you met him. And we really want to have that next week. So if we don't meet it today, then next week will be the first time we meet, which will be that cutscene now, and won't be able to get um, the graveyard authorization for the left side. energy I will also take some more coal with me and what I want to do right now is to sleep and leave the home and like I said as soon as you sleep and leave the home if you don't um, lift the menu and uh, reload then this cutscene doesn't happen and I broke it so let's close and start it again. It's happen if you click really fast during any cutscene where your uh, some character is going to move around. If you click really fast, that's, it will sometimes break the cutscene. So don't be like me and spam on your mouse or keyboard. Uh, you will have that issue. Does, didn't matter in that case because I just saved before, so I lost like 15 seconds of my life.
tipping, going inside. And here is our friend Quetzvold, which took us about the vampires. Now it's quite good to, uh, like I said, when cutscene run, something are still happening in the past, in the background. So basically here right now, the furnace are actually still working, despite the fact that the timer of the day is not uh, ticking. That's why I, could, I put that cutscene after it. If you really want to be optimal, what you could even do instead of trying to skip through the cutscene to get it over as fast as possible, you could let it play as slow as it uh, is playing. And it will make you have about like four more iron got by um, the end of the week. But if you do that on every casting, not just this one, but the next one, and the next one about the donkey. But it's not necessary. So don't worry about like, yeah, generally way to uh, uh, bore to be able to just have a look at a cutscene that is going to last one minute where they talk so slowly. Here I want to sell and I want to buy another bronze beer. It's very important that you buy a bronze beer and not a silver one. Like I said, normally at this point in time, if you had played uh, normally and didn't open the church on the first day, you would have that uh, the dialogue where he talked about the fact that you opened the church, he would have one more gold and the tier two would already be open. So like I said, that's one of the downsides of doing it like I did is that the tier two is not open um, from the tavern immediately. You can still open it by uh, trading some uh, with him. Here I'm selling more coal to get more money. What I want to buy is for uh, the donkey strike and for uh, the better safe soul uh, opening segment where I will also need some uh, oil. So I want to buy two seed oil and five seed. Uh, it's quite important to buy the seed because we'll need the amp to make some uh, candle later uh, down. We don't need them immediately, so you could buy them later, but we have enough coal that we can uh, afford to sell some of it. And here I want to buy a few more. Generally, I buy about 10 just because we lose some carrot seed and we'll start to just need more and more, both to feed ourselves and for our uh, comrade donkey. Um, of course, a bit. And here, once you walk close to uh, the shepherd, you will trigger a cutscene. But if I can plant what I have in my hand, that's going to be quite good. If I do that before, I forget everything that I'm currently doing. us to eat some garlic. Like I said, between the cutscene in the tavern and this one, if you don't do what I'm doing here where you are skipping all of the dialogue, it's going to last longer and you might see that in the background your furnace is still running and we can see it just it created some iron good so you can uh, gain a little bit more iron than what I, I will probably have because I'm skipping through the cutscene instead of letting them play as long as possible. Here what I want to build, my basically next step is I want to improve the church as much as possible. And the first thing I will actually build is some confessional. So this confessional will 
uh, cost 8 complex parts and 24 planks. And we also need one more for building a, a woodwork. So it should have enough to uh, unlock woodworking. And here what you want to craft is 48 flitches. That's almost all of a full uh, log stockpile. And even one more would have it. And here, so I want forty-eight planks. So, in that, if you want a lot of planks, it's much more time efficient, but less wood efficient. But you can make them from the circular saw directly from logs, and it takes way less time, about three times less time to build one planks uh, directly from logs on the circular saw. But I I'm so far away from having 200 red point, and I need all of the red points that I'm currently uh, uh, getting. But it's not that energy uh, intensive to actually work some with. Like each plank is five energy, so basically each uh, carrot cutlet let me transform three flitches into three planks. And generally, at that point, I stop at 24. You want to unlock stone working, and you want to unlock simple gravestone and stone gravestone. And the reason for that is we want a stone cutter, which we don't have enough nails. Cutter here. And the reason I'm doing stone cutter is I need more blue points than the 60 I've got from. Uh, oh, I will need more stone than that. Let's go and get some stone. And so here I want to unlock that, that, that. That which makes 65 points, and I have 41, so I need 25 more uh, blue points. And I had four stone, which means I need six more. And I also need that lot of red uh, point. <laughs> them. Just give me one every time. It's not that bad. I prefer to have some bad luck on uh, stone than having bad luck uh, on all the part. Oh, maybe I have uh, 14. That's way more than what I needed. Like I said, we won't. Five, and as well here because I've done all of the cutscene, uh, most of the cutscene that I uh, was going to uh, live through, just save, leave, and reload. That's just because, like I said before, when you play the game for a too long period of time, and specifically with too many cutscenes, the donkey stop coming. And here I want, if possible, if you can come uh, today with. Uh, last part of his strikes, that would be quite perfect. Okay, so what I want to keep in my inventory is... So... I want to have the planks and the complex iron part, and let's take the 
stone fence because they take a lot of uh, space from my inventory. And now I want to build the confessional. I built the confessional before I built all of the rest. And the reason is for every a second that the confessional are built, they have a chance to give you some face. No, either you even want to uh, build them maybe uh, a little bit earlier. I've been able to build them at basically the end of a rest day when you really focus on it instead of uh, uh, running around doing uh, other things. But I try to build them as early as possible, but even with that, in most cases, it give me nothing. Like in most cases, by next day when I will make the next sermon, even if I build them like four minutes earlier than right now, they still g didn't give me any face. So I don't count on the face from the confessional, or not more than one um, from them. But if we can get some it, uh, some face from them, that would be great. Uh, we probably won't. Correct. Yeah, I listed everything north of it. Yes. And here I'm only going to put 16 because I want to keep 10 in case the donkey come uh, very soon. Now the next step is I'm, uh, like I said before, I made 48 planks. Um, we'll need that to upgrade the rest of our church. I need to build some banks and I need to build some uh, candle uh, holder. So we need 24 planks, 16 nail, 16 simple iron pot, and 16 complex. Which in terms of iron production, that should be more than enough. You have about like four more by the end. Uh, or four to six more uh, by the end of uh, the next Sunday. So we want 16 complex, the eight are important to make them, and 16 more, and 16 names. Another point. Like I said, you will see that uh, in general I have get donkey come once every four days until the end when he's finally done with his uh, strikes and start to come every day. I will want a little bit more money than what I currently have, uh, so I will take all of that. When is that going to be done? Very soon.
As you can see, like, so far, they give me nothing, maybe, uh, in the next few days, but probably not. I still try to check uh, the church uh, at least once every two or three days to make sure that you still, uh, if so one of the confessionals start to produce something, that you'd still get it. I will take that with me and... I come back. Oh no, I have nothing to send to you, sorry. One point that I forgot is and last time I went uh, into the village through the cutscene from a Game of Crone, I should have taken the two broken tools, those two here, because you want to sell them as before right now. Uh, it won't matter in terms of exactly the amount of money you get, uh, but specifically if you don't have better safe sous, and better safe sous will give me a lot uh, of money. If you don't have it, uh, it's probably best you don't forget what, I'd, uh, what I did forget and actually sell them before. Because of which uh, the blacksmith is going to be, is going to matter if you don't have another source of income. As well, if you don't have better sales soon, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to sell uh, something in order to have some money to buy some candle. If you don't have better sales soon, you won't be uh, rolling in money like I will uh, uh, in about half an hour. So don't spend it on candle because you need it for something else. No, so how much more? Perfect, seven, that's even way more than what I want. You also see that I'm start running out of uh, iron. The next part, once I will be done with the summon, will be to... Uh, here I'm saving before I do the summon. If you really want to be optimal, um, the sermon that we are going to do is going to have a chance to drop you one more face, but a very low chance. So if you really want to be optimal, you can uh, save before and reload until you get uh, a very high roll and you get one more face. So here, ask about the sand because we need the sand and we'll buy four can. You could even buy six, but to raise your odd. Not really that worth it. And specifically because what why I want to buy four is because the amount of faith you get is your church quality divided by five. So here that would be uh, six. Um, uh, six that two. So that two give us twenty percent chance to have a seventh faith plus six prior here gave you two bonus faith. So here what I will get is either eight that's guaranteed that I will have 8, or maybe 9. I have 20% chance to get 9. Here I got 6, so I will have 2 more, that would be 8. So that's a roll. That's where if you really want to make your life easy, just uh, save before and reload until you get 9. It will make it a little bit uh, easier because 
the more face we have, the less uh, we'll have to get blue from a crafting grave. Same if you got a lot of face from confessional, you get really lucky, and when you come here, you get uh, two face from the confessional. Um, you can do without. And that's the first part. Uh, I will save and I will see you all in part two very soon.